Team Tower! Take me out on the water. We eat fishy. Way out in the woods. Where the breathing is easy, the living is good. Out in the grave. And welcome to Leary Smith Outdoors. We're sponsored by the Badger Sportsman Magazine, Bartline Barrels, Warrior Boats, Big Snow Resort, Wings Over Wisconsin, Mike's Country Meats, Midwest Shooter Supplies, Burger Smokehouse, Delco, Vexlar, Dick Smith's Bait and Tackle, Come Along Measuring Tools, Commick Law Firm, Norm's Egg, and Jiffy. And remember, it's a great day to be alive. Holy moly. Good morning and welcome to Larry Smith Outdoors. Today we're heading up to the UP and we're going to be fishing Big Bay to Knock. You know, I haven't been up to Big Bay to Knock since the tournament days. And uh, our good friend Lonnie Goldman is up there from Green Bay Trophy fishing and he's on a great bite. Big smallmouth, he's catching some nice walleye and occasional big pike too. So stay tuned, we left here at 3.30 in the morning, which is pretty typical of us when we go on a road cruise. We usually just leave early in the morning and head up there and get our show in and head back right away. That's uh, the ordeal when you're filming a new TV show every week. So stay tuned, let's see what happens this week up at Big Bay to Knock. You wonder what's up with this guy here. It's a problem, let's put stop. I'm gonna grab some Mike's Country Meats anyways. Guy's a fisherman. Larry! Oh my! Hey buddy, how's it going? Hey! Cool, man. Hey, so we're, you're heading up to what? O'Connell Perch Fishing. Really? I saw your show last year. Okay. Holy oh, man, are you kidding me? Hey, I'll tell you what. I got, a, I got an idea. We towed your truck over to uh, the parking ride over here. And you want to come up to Michigan with us? Yes. All right. Let's, oh, my God. Hey, are you kidding stuff. me? Let's hook up. I got a tow strap. Let's All right. get up and pull you up there. All right, thanks. Yep. Boy, this is going to be something else, eh? Let's go do it. <laughs> you know, you're a charitable guy. Hey, no, I'll tell you what. Guy looks like a good fisherman. I guess we'll find out. Uh, four whoppers. Hey, Lonnie called, said, where are you? We're getting some whoppers, don't tell them that. No. Creating a fishing boat that delivers unsurpassed fishability, speed, and performance on the water is achieved through an ongoing commitment to quality and a driving passion for making great boats even better. You'll see this commitment to quality and a passion for building the fisherman's boat in every Warrior Boat model you see on the water. For additional information on Warrior Boat's new V208, check out their website at warriorboatsinc.com or visit your local Warrior Boats dealer to schedule a test drive and see for yourself why no fishing boat on the market offers a smoother, drier ride, more interior cockpit space, more storage, more room to fish big water in complete comfort and safety than the V208 from Warrior Boats. Dalco, far and away the nation's leading boat cover manufacturer, precisely fit for a large variety of OEM makes and models. Dalco premium covers are the boating equivalent of a hand-tailored suit. Not only are Dalco covers the best fitting and best quality, they include unique features like our polis cover lift system and ratchet attachment system, making them the easiest and fastest covers to install and remove. Visit DalcoMarine.com for more information on how to order. Use promo code LARRY10 to receive a 10% discount today. Burger Smokehouse, your handcrafted smoked meat headquarters since 1952. Our dry rub recipes, aging process, and natural hardwood smoking come together to create bold, satisfying flavors that we are proud to stand behind. Whether it's summer sausage, hearty sportsman's cut bacon, or dry rub barbecue ribs, we are your source for top-notch hardwood smoked meats that you'll be proud to serve family and friends. Visit us online at smokehouse.com or look us up at your local grocery store. Hey, 
Hey, I'll tell you what, welcome to Larry Smith Outdoors. Today we're with our good friend Lonnie Goldman from Green Bay Trophy Fishing. And we're with also, pick him up on the side of the road, Dan. We met him, he was broke down on the way up here and he was going up to Ocano to fish perch and we decided to have him jump in with fish with us today. And hey, Dan the cameraman, you had a new name for him, didn't you? Right, Dan from the ditch. Dan from the ditch, we're gonna call him. Hey, I'll tell you what, Lonnie, you've been up here fishing and catching lots of fish. We're up at where? Big Bay to Knock? We're up on Big Bay to Knock up here, and uh, I have some friends up here over the years, and I got to learn this bite up here, and I've been fishing up here the last three, four days, and it's been fun. A lot of big smallmouth and some walleyes too, huh? Yeah, we've been getting a mixed bag, some you know wa uh, walleye pike and some nice bass. You know, I'll tell you what, Lonnie, I said this uh, two years ago when we started this show, the reason I want, one of the reasons I wanted to start this show was to get more people involved in the outdoors, especially kids and women. But I'll tell you something, the other part is, what an awesome opportunity it is for me to be able to fish with great fishermen like yourself and to be able to fish all these different areas. You know, and that's, you know, it's something about you. You're a big water guy, I'll tell you that. And no doubt, this, you grew up in the UP here, didn't you? Yeah, I was born in Iron Mountain, and uh, my mom moved to the Algoma Sturgeon Bay area when we were young. But you know, I had a lot of friends up here. I was invited up here years ago, and I uh, got to know some people up here. And you know, the Michigan people are good people. They're just good-hearted, genuine, honest people, and it's just awesome to uh, know guys like that. Hey, and I'll tell you what, the scenic value and the quality of the fish that you're, we're gonna catch today up here, I can't wait. So, hey, I'll tell you what, stay tuned. We'll show you how we're doing it and see if we can latch into a smallmouth over six pounds today before I lose my voice. Nice job. Whoa, oh, look at that. It's a big bass. bass. It's oh a big one. Oh my God, that's yeah, that's huge. That's a nice that's a bass. That's a big bass, bass right there, rod. brother. Oh my God, I thought it was a turn. <laughs> Lonnie, give me your rod. I am, I am. Okay, give me That's rod. a really big fish, That's dude. That's a big fish. Oh, my Boy, gosh. Right out of the water. That is a big monster bass. Woo! I got to grab the net here. Whoa, there it is again. It's coming up. Whoa, oh, look oh, at oh, the oh. size of that bass. That is a giant, giant, giant bass. Holy cats. That's Woo! what we're here for. We came for big Man, bass. oh, man, Lano. Oh. Lano. Take your time, bro. That Take is time, a big bro. bass. That's what we came here for. Holy cats. Big water, big fish. Wow. You know, that's exciting. Oh. Look at the size of that bass. Look at that. That's a, that's a big one, boys. Ooh, that's a nice fish. Ah, there you go. Nice. nice job. Woo! Look at the size of that thing. That is definitely a It's a good monster. day. Good way to get us warmed up here. Yup. <laughs> yeah, buddy. Thank you, sir. Nice job. Go back here. You know, yeah. I'll tell you what, Lonnie. You know, tell everybody at home what we did. We made so, a big move. I was on some real good fish yesterday. We fished it. And uh, we had some good fish yesterday. And those fish are there yet, but they're negative. So we just said, let's let's get out of here, make a move. Give them and a break. We don't, not over here. And this is all a five, five and a half pounds. You know, it's a good one. They're a lot bigger. We're looking for that six or seven, but. Uh, it's a good one. We'll, we'll start Let's with that. Fine, keep huh? this party going. Nice job. You big, another big one? Oh, yeah. You're not related to Kevin Van Dam at all, are you? <laughs> right? Oh, a three. Oh, you got him? That, that's oh, a that's, nice, that sucker. that's a nice bass. That is a giant, another giant. <laughs> <laughs> it was you something I've seen a weird angle on, and I thought, well, it's a walleye. Yeah. <laughs> I, I think that was the sucker Did hanging out of his mouth. Oh my god! <laughs> hey, seriously, is that bigger than the other one? Seriously, Ooh. dude? Oh my god! <laughs> I thought it was a walleye. <laughs> wow! I'm a fishing guide. <laughs> now, aren't you glad you guys picked me up alongside the road? <laughs> Catch us one more, we're gonna take him back to the side of the road. Wow. Whoa, did, you, did I just see that fish come up way out there? <laughs> sure I did. Yeah. Unbelievable. You know, I'll tell you I'll tell something. You, we made a move. That was worth it. It eh? is, and that's the thing about fishing. You know what? You always got to have in your head that they're always biting somehow. And you know, oh, oh, another, another nice fish. 
The big thing is, is working the brake right. You know, before we were, I haven't had a bite yet on this pass. Yeah. And look how close we are in this boat, you know? Well, you gotta just kinda, you know, so there's a, a, a first, uh, they call it a primary and then a secondary break. Yep. We were kinda working that first break. We picked a small one up. We happened to slide deep on that secondary break. Ditch Dan here ended up with two big ones, and those fish are laying right in that crease in that secondary break. Yeah, and look how tight we are in the boat here. Another quality fish here. Oh, another nice one. Yeah. Nice little, little chunk here, Larry. Yeah, so they're feeding up for the winter. Uh, just putting that feed bag on. Sorry, boys, but I got a problem. Whoa! Double header. Double header. <laughs> double header. <laughs> double header. <laughs> What's going on here, buddy? I turned the net and trying to set the hook at the same time. Woo! Now we're having fun. <laughs> That's all it loving takes. it. Loving That's it. all it takes. Yep. I'm wow. Well, I better get out there. Hey, there, you wanna, Dan? You wanna cut my rod and get it right out of here? Sure. Just sure. get that and grab that rod. Right you know, I don't think it's a monster, but it's a good fish. You know, they're all good fish. But these are definitely bigger than the last spot. Here he comes. Oh, coming out of the water. Here he comes. Oh, I thought he's gonna come up and out. Boy, I tell you, like you said. It's amazing how these fish fight. <laughs> uh, Another little chunk. Yep, little chunk. These are just little footballs. Not as big as Dan's, but look at the size of them. Yeah, they're just, boy, oh boy. Oh, beautiful. I beautiful love that, fish, I'll tell you. Huh? I'm on the board on this spot. Trophy Ice Fish, Green Bay's premier ice fishing guide service. Captain Lonnie Goldman specializes in trophy walleye and whitefish packages. Clients are shuttled out on six passenger Yamaha UTVs to heated ready to fish ice houses. Perfect for family, friends, and corporate outings. Restrooms on the ice and their exclusive shore lunch make Trophy Ice Fish the top choice for your ice fishing fun and comfort on the Bay of Green Bay. Check out TrophyIceFish.com or call Barbara at 920-255-2617 to book your ice fishing adventure. The guillotine, the most versatile jigging and hook setting system the fishing industry has ever seen programmed and customized jigging and hook setting techniques. Bringing innovative remote control technology to the fishing world. This all purpose tool will change the way you fish. The guillotine, made by Rut Finn. At Jiffy, we break new ground. In fact, every decision we make revolves around it. The new Chevy 46 Extreme is 49 cc's of unmatched power with a fixed position propane system and over twice the efficiency for low end torque. Or go ninja with the Chevy 44 Pro, the lightest in its class, the best in power and portability inside and outside. The only ice augers built in the USA. Chevy, we put the world on ice. Badger Sportsman Magazine is Wisconsin's outdoor magazine. Badger Sportsman provides the best Wisconsin fishing and hunting information written by local Wisconsin guides and professionals to help you put more fish in the live well, birds in the bag, and venison in the freezer. Go to badgersportsman.com or call us at 920-230-3474. Subscribe now and get our current issue mailed to you as a free bonus. Badger Sportsman Magazine, Wisconsin's outdoor magazine. You know, it's amazing, Lonnie, these fish are just loaded. You got the bow and 30 now. Look at that fish hanging on there. Oh, I love that stuff. Dude, that's a pick. That oh, I love that. Such a great feeling. Look at that. Boy, I'll tell you, I'm just letting them grab it. I'm not feeding it to them anymore. And it's just making such a big difference. Wow. Out of here, buddy. I'm good. Just you want to keep tying? I'll, I'll fight. There he comes. Whoa! Oh, it's a good one. Oh, it's a good one. Oh, <laughs> Lano. Oh, that's a biggie. You know what? What a whale! Oh, here he comes. Oh my goodness! Look at this fish. God oh, darn it! Look at oh! oh, 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 oh. <laughs> it is amazing. <laughs> Look at the bellies on these fish. You know? Oh. Here we go, Lonnie. <laughs> yeah. 
That's Thank a, you, buddy. That's a tank. That's another, yep. You know, that's, that's that upper four is almost high, but look at that, eh? Yeah, oh, just, they're just so God, stocky. The belly. Fish. There's your fish, buddy. Thank you, man. Oh. I appreciate it. Look at that. You know, we've had, over the last couple of years, Lonnie, we've been very fortunate to fish with the end. We've been on some absolutely tremendous bites, walleyes, northerns, bass. And, uh, you know, it's always a pleasure, the white fishing, ice fishing. Um, it really has definitely been a pleasure, I'll tell you that, man. I'll tell you this, what a great way to spend a day. Got one going? Yep. Ooh, I see your rod bent over, Lano. Ooh, look at that fish hanging right on there, huh? Oh, nice job. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Booyah, baby. Yeah, it has been fish after fish now. It has been really hour. good. This last hour has been real Unbelievable. good. Unbelievable. Like I say, it's, it's fun fishing, and then it's also fun catching. It is. I don't think he's that big, but you know, yeah. sometimes they just come in and sandbag you. Yeah. So, Lonnie, tell me this. You got anything new this winter for ice guiding? We do. We got a couple new guys coming on board to help us out. We, okay. Uh, you know, we're uh, we're pretty pumped up. We just, you know, the last couple of winters have been warm. Oh, he's out there. Oh, yeah, and, uh, you know, we're looking forward just to having a good solid ice season, uh, taking care of our clients, making sure everyone's happy with uh, what we offer in terms of uh, our service. Well, I don't know anybody that's got a better service on the Bay of Green Bay than you. Thank you. you got bathrooms out there for we've everybody? Got, we've got bathrooms on the ice. We're going to have uh, shore lunch again this year for everybody. That's a huge hit. Uh, bathroom sort of women, they just like that. Oh, it's a little bigger than what I thought it was. Nicer fish. Yeah. And you're running how many shacks? We're going to be running 18 houses this year. How so big is that one shack and how many guys? We've got a shack that's 8, eight by 26. Oh, 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 that, that fishes 15 comfortably, but you can put 8 to 20 people in there. Wow. So, no, last it's year great. Was... It's great for group outings, corporate outings, guys who just want oh, to get Oh, that is a giant. That's a big fish line. Oh. oh, my. I did not think that bass was that big. Look at the size of this thing. Well, they're oh, just oh, all porkers. Oh, oh. Yep. I ended up getting his. You got Dan's line? Right. Oh, oh my God. got the fish. Yep. Look at this. Oh, my God. Up. Look at this oinky. That is that. This might be bigger than the ones Dan caught. Hey, Dan, you're, huh? you got to wind your line. Oh, yeah. he's. Are you kidding me? Got up there. Wow! Look how dark that oh, fish is. That's the interesting good. part about these fish. How dark they are up in this water, that walleye. Well, let's get a weight on him quick. Yeah. I mean, I mean. I, it's not as long, but he's definitely got a lot of girth to it. I mean, the thing is about these fish up here is this how piggy they are. These are some of the biggest smallmouth I've ever seen, you know, and we fish the Great Lakes, but let's get a weight on him real quick. Okay. I mean, each fish, this fish is pushing probably upper fours, almost five pounds. You know, I was told once that water temperature gets below 45, gobies are usually up in the shallows and those gobies start sliding deeper. And that would make perfect sense because those bass are probably a little deeper too, looking for something to eat that last hurrah before they, you know, go dormant. So it makes perfect sense that those fish are a little deeper along with the gobies sliding out. I mean, years ago, a three to four pound smallie was huge 15, 20 years ago. Now, I mean, to even start talking about smallies, you know, anything five pounds and north, that's a solid fish. But they're saying their, they're saying their growth rates are, uh, you know, a lot higher because they're, they're growing faster. Here he comes. That's a chunk. <laughs> I want to see that fish again. Oh, 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 oh. You want to get him or grab him? I'll just grab him. Okay. We're just getting spoiled. <laughs> Look at Pretty the bad when you're not setting five pound fish. Really? Four to five pounders. <laughs> Look at that, eh? Oh, oh, that beautiful. Ain't that gorgeous? That oh, is absolutely beautiful. gorgeous. Look at this chunk this thing. It's solid. They're thick. Another piggy. Look at this. <laughs> Are you kidding me? Yeah. That's just that. Jeez. Oh, my belly, hey. Wow. Really? Boy, I'll tell you what, I I struggled yesterday to catch a dozen smallmouth out on Big Green. And when you look at these fish here, and nobody here, what an awesome way. It's definitely worth the drive. Yeah, you know, this is just unbelievable fishing for bass. I mean, some of the biggest smallies in the country, you know. 
It's a great spot. Wow, I'll tell you what, Ronnie. Hold that fish up, and that is absolutely a gorgeous, gorgeous fish. That might be the biggest one of the day. No. no I don't think so. Oh, I don't know. Nice. That's big. Oh, man, beautiful. Hey, I'll tell you what, this week's tip of the week brought to you by our great friends up in Tigerton, Mike's Country Meats. Hey, I'll tell you what, Lonnie, you've got a good tip of the week. Yeah, so when fishing these smallmouth, a lot of guys like using a 12, 14 pound fluorocarbon. Right. And when you're dragging in the rocks and zebra mussels, a lot of times what happens is, you know, your line gets so nicked up and chafed up, even with fluorocarbon, I've jumped up to like a 20, 25 pound test. It's kind of stiff, but I know I know I catch just as many fish, and it seems to be really effective. And the more zebra mussels I'm in in rock formations, I jump up to that 25. But it's a real nice stiff leader material. I never have problems, and I have very few breakoffs. So when you're fishing bass and rock, jump up to a 20, 25 pound heavy fluorocarbon, and that seems to work. Hey, and I'll tell you what, Lonnie, that is a great tip because uh, right away this morning I thought that line was going to be a little too heavy. These bass were going to see them that line with that bait on there, but definitely not the case, and we haven't lost hardly any rigs at all. Again, thanks to our good friends up at Mike's Country Meats for the greatest jerky on the planet. Hard to believe, but, you know, we're not even filming, you know, three-pounders anymore. No, is this one a, a, just a whole hum four and a half pounder? <laughs> a whole hum four and a half. Right. right. You, you know don't get excited. Mean? I don't get excited until they get four and a half. Right. You need a net, let me know. I know the last ten you've grabbed yourself, but yeah. You guys hook up here and I'll just get a double. So you're saying shut up and hook up? Yeah. <laughs> shut up and hook up. Shut up and hook up. Don't bug me. This is a TV show. The tug show is off. the drug, right? Yes, it is. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's a good fish. Oh, yeah. <laughs> wow. That, that's a nice fish, Lon. That's a big one here. Yep, it's a big it's one. It's a four and a halfer. He's starting to get that little dimple on his head. And again, a little bit deeper, huh? Yeah. Oh, my God. He's a little heavier than what I thought. Oh, yeah. Fish carry nice so fish. much weight. For small mouth, you know. Just look at how porky these are. Yeah, healthy. The jaws aren't all ripped up. They're just beautiful. Just pretty like fish, fish, eh? Yep. Beautiful markings on them. Good battlers. That's a tanker. <laughs> That's all a four and a half. Gotta love that. Hey, I'll tell you what, join our very own Shotgun Schaefer. He's going to be over at Woodman's in Sun Prairie from 10 to 2, December 2nd, and he's going to be cooking up products from Burger Smokehouse. So make sure you check him out. Burger Smokehouse products, Woodman's, 10 to 2, December 2nd, Sun Prairie. Shotgun Schaefer. Wings over Wisconsin. A nonprofit organization dedicated to natural resource restoration, preservation, and education with youth and community involvement. Through cooperation with private landowners, state and federal agencies, Wings Over Wisconsin has been a leader in the preservation of our natural wildlife habitat, with donated dollars staying in Wisconsin for Wisconsin. For information about how you can join this great organization or how to start a new chapter, please visit wingsoverwisconsin.org. For over 25 years, Midwestern Shooter Supply has been your premier dealer for hunting supplies. Our staff is friendly, experienced, and certified with over 15 years in gunsmithing experience. We're your one-stop shop for your hunting needs. Our inventory is at the lowest possible price, and we will match any other dealer advertised price. Do you do more than hunt? Check out our supply of fishing products as well. Visit Midwestern Shooter Supply today, or shop our web store at mwshooters.com. Midwestern Shooter Supply. We want to be your outdoor supplier. Vexilar, always innovating, never imitating. For nearly 60 years, Vexilar has been the innovator to help anglers catch more fish. The FLX sonar technology changed the flasher sonar world forever with the creation of the FLX 28. 
Now the FLX12 features a brilliant display and easy to use two button control system. The FLX20 is packed with features like zoom zones and a three color palette display. To learn more about FLX technology, visit vexelart.com. Come on, Lon, one more and we'll go in. One more. I just say that because I got one hanging on here. <laughs> oh, I got him. One more. I'll tell you what an explosive day. Hey, oh, feels like a decent fish. Hey, you know it's getting to become close to winter because guess what? Look at my new Vexlar suit I have too. Loving it. And the other part is, you guys, I got a surprise for you in the truck. I got some really good smoke burger smokehouse products I'm gonna cook for you before we awesome. head back. Smoke there we go. There. Look at hey, what are, uh, what's the deal with the that? black spots on that one, Lon? I don't know, Larry. Look at that. Is that? Huh, that's yeah. interesting. Pretty fish. That's very, the first one we got. Very pretty fish. Like some pig, like pigmentation type stuff. Yeah, that's very cool. Hey, I'll tell you what, Lonnie, it's time to wrap her up and head in take a picture of some of the fish we kept uh, for pictures here and uh, head on in and let them go and let's go eat some uh, supper. Hey, I'll tell you what, Lonnie, you've got a lot of things going on. you got one of the largest ice guiding services on the Bay of Green Bay. And if people want to get a hold of you and do some of these specialty trips like we do here for the bass, or obviously we're going to be thinking winter because it's right around the corner. Probably in the next couple weeks, we're going to be definitely on some ice. How can they get a hold of you? Yeah, you know, we're going to be in Sturgeon Bay here probably another week or two on trophy bass and walleye and then ice fishing. Just get a hold of us. Uh, we're going to be uh, rocking and rolling here after January. So first, the late December, give me a call at uh, or just call Barbara at uh, 920 255 2617 and that's Barbara. She'll get you booked or check us out at trophyicefish.com. Absolutely perfect. Hey, and I'll tell you what, we had a great time and that's what it's all about. And you know what, if you see somebody on the side of the road broke down, make sure you stop and pull in there and make sure they're okay. And you might even find yourself a fishing partner for the day. And the other <laughs> thing is, make sure you check us out on our social media sites, our Facebook along with our new website. And just remember, like I always say, what a great night to be alive. <laughs>